All right, so the next day, I got these uh, um, quarry lowers off the car. These, uh, I would say, Mickey Mouse racing quarry lowers that I made 10 years ago. I mean, for what it is, for what it was, I, I made these 10 years ago. So I was a lot younger and like I've said already, um, didn't have a lot of money, so. But the, anyways, these should, should, should have just slipped off, these aluminum um, sleeves, but they don't. So I'm gonna have to end up, I'm just gonna cut um, the sleeves off. And then here, I'm gonna be grinding this down. Um, so I could put the new the new perch on and slide that sleeve in and finally I'll be painting these um, so this should look pretty pretty good when I'm done and I save a ton of money by doing this uh, again I'll um, I'll add my parts list on the description I'll tally up how much I spent in total to do just the core lovers the, the rest of suspension that's a whole different another story so I saved quite a bit of money by doing this. Maybe down the road, maybe another 10 years or so, I'll actually I'll buy some coilovers. But for now, I think this is good enough. Um, I do have plans to go to Japan next year, and I plan to be out there for a couple years. So that's part of the reason why I don't want to dump a bunch of money into the car now, and I'm doing a lot myself to save some money, because I'd rather have some sort of savings while I go back out there. Anyways, back to this, um, I'm going to get to cutting and prepping for the new parts. So I'll be cutting this with a cutoff wheel here, but I will go change my sweater just because I like this sweater a little bit and I have some older clothes that are going to use to work so I don't want all these metal um, shavings, aluminum is pretty gross when you cut it, it just shears off, so I'll be right back. I'll adjust this a tad so you can see what I'm doing. to plug in my microphone as you can see I'm very new to YouTube and recording in general I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time and now with the whole COVID-19 I have a lot of time on my hands when I'm not doing homework or teaching online so I hate taking advantage of that important especially with the aluminum you can see how much of these flakes are gonna fly off
So here's the new perch and the old or the strut that I'll be using, of course, reusing. So I'm going to have to um, grind this all the way down. So it's gonna slide, it slides further down as the spring is longer. So it slides, I think it's about this point here or so. Um, so I'm going to grind this all the way down, slide it down. And I realize that whoever's watching this to do your own core lovers, I realize that this is an extra step, the whole cutting off the old, old, uh, old sleeves, but now you know how to do it in case you ever buy a car that had um, some eBay special coilovers on it or you're working on something. I'm gonna grind this down so I can slide this down. Let's get to it. Okay, now on to now on back to my workbench. Um, now that I have uh, this grinded down and these slide in and out, I'm going to be uh, measuring to install my perches. So this is it's going to sit about there, and I think that's about the, the spot I wanted at. I'm also going to be using these guys here, the T3. Uh, the uh, I guess tube spacers, um, the gland nut spacers, whatever you want to call these. These are about 90, and basically what they do is they they save me from cutting up these uh, strut tubes. Again, these strut tubes are really expensive nowadays and they're hard to find. I personally did not want to uh, cut mine up, so I went with this option. That way, it'll be easier to remove this perch 
in the future, then the, um, cause I mean, you end up essentially cutting this chunk out to drop it or you replace, you put it, you put in this, uh, tube spacer. And I just prefer that I prefer to pay 90, um, now than 400 down the road or whatever it's going to cost to find new ones. If I end up changing my mind about this. So anyways, it's going to sit threads on there sit about there so I'm just gonna make mark it I said I'm just gonna mark it so I'm gonna put it at about there there's a maybe like a about a eighth or so space between um, the the sleeve and where this this uh, gland nut sits and I'll be welding the, I'll be welding just the bottom side of the uh, the perch, welding all around it, and it's gonna look like so. And then of course it's gonna sit a little lower. And then the um, kind of hard to see, but after that, I mean the the obviously the shot goes in here, the camera plate, and then the spring in between. So nice and nice and pretty. So, anyways, I'll get to it. Uh, you got my measurements on this side.
right, so here are the the strut tube casings. Got them all ready for paint. Got to get some, put some uh, tape on the spindles there. Um, got them cleaned up. I just used a some brake clean and a paintbrush to clean them up well. Let them dry for a little bit. And I created this little Mexican paint booth. But hey, it works. And it's been a pretty wet day. But no matter, I'm working in the garage today, so it's fine. And here's the paint. I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna use some of this primer here. Should be fine, have enough here. All right, now that that's drying, and actually I like how they're turning out, I'm gonna clean up my uh, dust shields. So they, these are the original, they're really dirty. Just gonna give them a, a quick clean. And I'm gonna spray them black, just to make it look a little bit more, more pleasing to the eye, a little bit purdy. I forgot to record earlier, but I did use this little parts cleaner to clean uh, the so you can see it better the top hats um, I cleaned them both up lubricated them slide pretty good I'm gonna just reuse these and I'm also reusing my uh, camera plates um, just clean the thread and just gave them a quick clean on this so I'll be using these parts to save a little bit of money I think these camera plates are like 225 or so and these top hats are like 25 bucks, $30, so just save a little bit of money. They're still good parts. So anyways, I'll be cleaning the uh, dust shields on here. And giving them a quick spray afterwards, paint them black. Just so it could look a little bit fresh. So when I usually do these, I just have a, actually just use a paintbrush. Um, I also have some different wire brush, different brushes in here that I usually um, take advantage of using. Anyways, here's what it lo someone looks like. It's not bad. I mean, I'm just gonna spray it real quick. Just 
make it look a little better. That's all. All right, this is the next morning. I uh, waited overnight for them to dry. I also painted these guys. I just let them um, dry overnight. So these are gonna get really dirty quickly, the dust shields, but it doesn't really matter. Just to look presentable initially at least. And these are the casings. And by the way, I did a test fit with the, uh, the spring perch. Just wanted to see um, how it sat with the o-rings that t3 provides and yeah these are these suckers aren't going nowhere i put it so you take one you get two per each per side um, left and right and you do one at the bottom one at the top once you slide the sleeve in with the when you have the o-rings in place this thing ain't moving so i'm not going to try to remove it i'm just going to um, leave it as is um, they turned out pretty good i'm, I'm pretty satisfied for uh, for not welding in uh, in many years and for the car sitting for a while, um, not bad. So the first thing to do is, and by the way, these are the uh, short stroke MR2 SW20 inserts. And just throw it on this, the, uh, the tube spacers, which I'm glad I did these. I, I didn't want to cut these uh, these uh, two casings just because they're so hard to find nowadays and like I mentioned before I think I mentioned this um, I if you want to buy it because I, I considered buying an extra pair so I could have a factory pair in case I need to change my mind and then having uh, one modified pair these are about $300 now on eBay I'm not gonna pay $300 for this if I spent about 500 building this I'm not gonna pay 300 for this but that's just me so anyways, and uh, next I'm going to be installing the spring and I'm going to be re reusing these uh, these uh, camber hats, whatever you want to call them. Um, I just lubed them up and cleaned them up. I don't see a need in replacing them if they still work just fine. So again, you do the, put in the, uh, the sleeve, then the shock, um, then the uh, gland nut the spaced out gland nuts and then the spring and finally the top hat and the camera plate and I'm reusing my camera plates save some money there I think t3 they're about 280 or so I paid about uh, 230 for these and I think they're on the I think I bought them from t3 I don't remember but I got these years ago and they work just like every other camera plate they're not the nicest, prettiest, but they work just fine. I have an adjustable lower control arm, so I get more adjustment from down there anyways. So this is it. This is the final result. I'm pretty satisfied um, for the progress. The, uh, the whole process wasn't bad at all. I think the hardest part for me was cutting off the old sleeve, but it's pretty straightforward. If you have the tools and the time, I say give it a shot. Um, it's worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and I'll be right back and then I want to talk about price breakdown because uh, if you're considering doing this or you're, you're watching this as a guide I hope it helped but if you're if you haven't started yet I just want to do a price breakdown and tell you how much money I saved because again this is a budget build I do all car work in my own garage um, to save money and I just like that uh, that satisfying feeling that I did it myself all right now I'm all done. Next up, I'm going to be installing it back on the car. You can see you got the the shields back on, and I'm reusing my bump steers from years ago. They're just spacers; they work just fine on their own. There's no need to replace them. Um, as far as the parts breakdown that I really wanted to talk about now is the shock that I use. Here's the part number. You can see that? Kind of hard to see. It's a uh, 76. 5015 KYB. I got these on Amazon actually. They're $90 on Amazon, free shipping. Um, it was much cheaper than buying them on T3, and then you got to pay shipping on top. So I found them on Amazon Racing. That's where you can find them. And for the rear, I did the uh, so the fronts, uh, they're SW20 um, short stroke KYB. And the rears, I went with the uh, Camaro um, 
short stroke KYB, also adjustable. So part number is 743019. You can see that, and I'll add this to the description. Save some money there. Um, I'm also going to be doing uh, brakes on this guy. I'm doing suspension and brakes. Um, a local hardware store, or hardware store, auto parts store that I li live pretty close to. So this pretty cool kit for the Corolla. I was surprised to find it. Comes with the grease, new dust caps, um, the bearings, front and inner and outer bearing, and a little retainer, um, cotter pin. $25 for these guys. So 25 each side. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, I'm going to be installing them when I get that when I receive the new brakes. And on my next video, I'm also going to be doing um, these T3 uh, lower control arms. Megan tension rods, caster rods, whatever you want to call them. And uh, energy suspension sway bar link. And I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for uh, outer tie rod to arrive. Then I'll be installing all that. So. Yeah, there's that. And the price breakdown. So I wrote it down. Um, if you buy these from T3, there are uh, currently the older coilover setup they had. It's $995 plus $90 for shipping. The uh, e the Evolve coilover conversion is $1,100. So with the, with the Evolve, from my understanding, you don't have to send in your strut, strut tube casings. Um, but you do with the original, I guess the, the first edition coilover setup, you have to send in your casings and it takes about um, one or two months, two months for this to be completed. That's a long time. So I spent my total breakdown. The tube spacer was 90. The, uh, this actual weld on kit, which, which includes the spring, um, the sleeve and the top hat these top hats which I'd end up using uh, with the o-ring was 265 plus shipping and finally the KYB shocks about 180 something um, for both front so in total um, the build for t3 if you were to send in your casings pay the shipping all that jazz is a, it's about a thousand eighty five this cost me 540, which that's about half the price, which to me is totally worth it. I'm currently a full-time um, grad school student. So anywhere I can save some money to buy books and pay for tuition or whatever, I will be down to do it. Um, if you have the space and the time and the know-how, I say it's totally worth it. Plus, another benefit is also these are now serviceable. So next time I just have to change the insert. Um, if I want to continue running the same setup, just change the insert as opposed to buying a, cause it's easier. It's a lot easier to just buy some uh, coilover setup on, I don't know, whatever BC Racing or um, Megan or T3. But I don't, I don't believe they're serviceable to start. And also they're really expensive. I mean, I'm, I'm a budget build. All the work that I've done with the Corolla, I've done it here in this garage, in this driveway. And I don't see why I would stop doing that now. As long as um, my body's able and I'm capable, I'm gonna be working on that car. So that's, but that's just me. And this is a personal preference. The Evolve kit is $1,200 plus shipping. So I hope that this guide, this video helped anybody that's considering doing this or in the process of doing it. Um, I had a good time doing it. It was nice to um, get my hands working again. I, again, this car has been sitting for about five years. I've had it in storage for a while. I've driven it around town and that's why I decided to finally get around to this upgrade. I've had these parts in storage since before I lived in Japan. So 